Hi guys and welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in today's post I want to show you guys a quick and easy masking method. Um, now so a few weeks ago we had a post here on the Orms Connect blog and it was all about time slice photos. How to get a time slice effect onto your photos like this. Basically you will have to do loads of different exposures at different times and different settings and then you'll get loads of different exposures. Those you'll take into Photoshop and stitch them all together together like this kind of effect. Now in today's tutorial I quickly want to show you guys how to do this quick and easy in Photoshop just the masking side. I'm not going to talk too much about the photographic side. Please go over to the blog here and have a look and quickly read through. It's very easy and just a few simple steps to get that effect. Okay so let's go over to Photoshop and I'll show you guys quickly what I did with one image that I have. Okay, so over here in Photoshop, basically what I did is just taking one exposure. I didn't have the time to do a complete time lapse, but at least I want to show you guys what I would did is took this normal image directly into Camera Raw, and in Camera Raw I changed it to black and white, as you guys can see over here, and then I've added different exposures. I would just darken it a bit and brighten it a bit, so we have different effects of exposures. Like for instance, if I go over here, my original image, the first one is just the normal shot, then I've just added that a bl bit of black and white to that. Our second image over here added contrast, so I've added just a little bit more contrast to this image. The third one is darkened the exposure a little bit, and then our fourth one is darkened the exposure completely. So we have at least different situations of exposures. Okay, so let's untick all of these, and we have our raw image again. And I don't really wish to add the raw image to it now, so let's maybe just uh, leave that out. And we're going to start with our first original image over here. So let's go over to do the quick masking technique. First of all, what I want to do is add hidden masks to all four layers. So let's do that. I'm going to go down here to the new layer mask icon, hold Alt, select that, and directly we will have a black mask, which means it's also a hidden mask. Okay, just select all of these other layers. We're going to go back to Added Contrast Layer, back to our new layer mask icon, hold Alt again and hide that as well. Now we're going to do the same effect again with Darkened Exposure, go all the way down to New Layer Mask Icon, hold Alt, select that, Hidden Mask again, go back to our last layer over here and again to our new mask icon, select that with Alt and directly we have all layers now hidden as you can see. If I select that, you will directly see, okay, that is our last layer at the bottom and it's visible. Okay, now we want to add a little bit of a lines. So to help us, some guidelines. So I'm going to first of all turn on my raw exposure down here again. And what I'm going to do now is go over here to the left hand side and select a ruler. Obviously, you have to go to the move tool with that. Then we're going to go over here, select the ruler. Going to click on here and I'm going to drag a ruler or guideline out now. So let's go over here and just drop this at say around 5 would be my first 5 pixels. Then we're going to create another guideline. Again I just went over and dragged one out. 10. So I would basically prepare this image just a little bit with some guidelines. Okay and space them also over here. Always 5 pixels. Okay. And add some more and I'm just going to do that quickly. Okay, so as you guys can see now, I've added 12 guidelines to my image that will help me to do my masking quicker. Obviously, this is not calculated right now to the image, so you would have to calculate out where you're going to space your guidelines on how many pixels, so it will be even on all sides, and also all the spacings will be right. So just calculate that. Okay, so let's go over here to our first original image and first of all what I'm going to do is select my mask over here and then I want to now have my first strip over here with my first layer. So let's go over to our masking tool over here, select the rectangular marking tool and directly what I can do now is just drag with my masking tool over my image and you will see that it snaps directly to my guideline. So that's why I created some guidelines so it's quicker and it will just be easier. Okay, select that and I'll drop that and directly we have a selection around this area. Now back over to our first original image layer here, select the mask again and now we're going to hit backspace to delete that space actually. So once I delete that, we can now see that our hidden mask is now visible just on the first layer. 
So let's go over with the marking tool again and select our second selection over here. That is our second strip and we'll go over to the add contrast layer and not selecting the main layer. We have to select our hidden mask again. Okay, we've done that. Now we can hit backspace again and directly we have our second exposure over here and it's visible as you guys can also see the white strip over here. Okay, and now basically I'm just going to continue doing this step by step. Okay, select it again, another strip over here. Again, it snaps directly, the selection snaps to the guidelines. I'm going to go over to my darkened exposure, mask layer over here and press backspace again and directly we have a new section cut out. Okay, then also going to do the next one over here, select that, that snaps nicely to the guidelines and we're going to go over to darkened exposure, also the hidden mask again, press backspace and directly you'll see we have that now. Okay, so now you can actually continue doing that step for step with different layers. So say for instance if you have say 10 to 20 different exposures, you would continue do that, do that now so it goes from light to dark or if you wish to you can also do that in different sections and you will have a completely different sliced photo effect. Okay, so let's go down again and start again with our original mask down here. So first of all, again, our marking tool, select that first selection again, and I'm going to hit backspace again on my first mask. So over here, you can also see the white strip now, so this means we have cut that out again. Okay, go back to added content, and we're just going to go over here and say backspace again, and we're going to go over to the dusted exposure again, the mask, with our marking tool again, select that area, hit backspace, and we have that out again. Okay, then to our last one here, darkened exposure, again with the marking tool, select that area, again it snaps really nicely to the guidelines, press backspace and we're out of that again. Okay, so then we can start again at the bottom, original image, again with the marking tool, press backspace, our second layer over here, press backspace, or delete, and then the same over here, delete, and the last one over here delete okay and now we're going to go back to our original image and do the same effect again select on it and delete okay press command d and we're out of that selection i'm going to go all the way back to the top here to view and go to clear guides so all our guides are gone and directly you can see i've created a super quick photo slice image over here which was very simple and my masking technique was also very simple and very quick. Last step that I would still do is take all of these layers here together, press shift, select them all and then press command G, put them all together in a group and then I would just write there masking. So I know that's all my masking effect. Last step that I would do is press command alt shift E, master shortcut and we have our main layer with our finished image. So over here, quick and easy, that was my quick and easy masking technique for that image. So obviously you would have different exposures but mine was just one image and I also accomplished this technique. Okay, so that was my quick video tutorial for this week. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you still have any questions about this, please email me to team at mannyphotography.co.za. Happy to help you guys with your questions. Alright, my name is Manny and thank you guys for watching. See you all next week in another quick tutorial. Bye-bye.